Hello, uh, in this video, I would like to explain um, mining frequent patterns, associations, and the correlations. Uh, this type of uh, mining is uh, uh, generally known as a, uh, a shopping basket analysis. Okay, for uh, the, uh, your practice, and uh, we're going to use a, uh, a chapter 11 data, uh, which is provided uh, by your textbook uh, by McLennan and others. Okay, so as usual, um, go to start and open a uh, SQL Server Management Studio, and then you will find uh, Chapter 11. Okay, and Chapter 11 has um, um, uh, several tables. Uh, we're going to use a uh, uh, the two tables: a customers table and the movie table. So basically, uh, what you want to do is a um, <coughs> we're going to look at a transaction data. Uh, of uh, movie rentals uh, by uh, each customer. So, um, so let's look at the data. Okay, so customers. So this um, <coughs> data should look uh, uh, kind of familiar to you. Uh, this is the same customer data, not exactly the same, but uh, very similar to the customer data uh, you looked at when you did uh, Excel uh, assignment. Uh, okay, but anyhow. Uh, this one has a lot of data about customers, and the primary key or unique ID is a, uh, a customer uh, ID. Okay, see that customer ID? So this is a unique ID or primary key uh, for this table. And um, also let's look at the uh, movie data. So this movie data, it uh, shows all the movies uh, rented by uh, some uh, uh, customer. So as we can see over here, uh, customer ID uh, 904112 uh, rented uh, many uh, videotapes. Okay. So uh, one of the first things that we want to do is a, uh, how the movies are uh, sort of related to together. So, uh, for example, like uh, you know when you uh, buy a beer, uh, you may want to uh, buy some potato chips. Okay? So so same kind of idea. So when uh, some people uh, rent a, uh, let's say, beautiful mind, uh, you know, what else do they also want to uh, uh, rent? So this can be very useful uh, for uh, companies like um, uh, Netflix. Okay, uh, now let's open a, um, a Visual Studio. Um, so click that, and then you will have a Visual Studio opened, and then open your database analysis service and then you know the routine so the server is OIT AD22 uh, and the database is uh, your own uh, data mining database so if you do that uh, choose that and then okay. okay I already did that so let's take a look so here we have uh, data source data source views and mining structures so we need to create a data source to access the uh, Chapter 11 uh, database. Okay, so we need to create a new one. And the server name, as you know, OITAP22. And Chapter 11, okay. Always a good idea to test. Oops, okay. And okay, and next, and enter your username. Don't type became, type your own username. Okay, and next, let's have a data source name. Our convention is just type DS for data source. Okay, so 11, chapter 11. Data source is done. Now we need to create a, a data source views. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna use a chapter eleven uh, data source. So choose that. And uh, we'll choose. Uh, we're gonna keep this option. And let's uh, move uh, everything. Or we can just uh, choose a, uh, what we need, uh, that will be uh, a bit clearer. Okay, so let's customers and the movies, okay. 
and next. So this will be our data source view. <coughs> okay, so we have uh, uh, two uh, uh, data uh, tables. Okay, so let's take a look. So right mouse button, uh, explore data. Okay, so that's the uh, same data we looked at uh, using uh, 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 SQL Server Management Studio. And let's take a look at the movies. Explore data. Okay, so we have a transaction data of uh, uh, those customers. So it looks good. Mm -hmm. There's a one thing uh, we need to do uh, before uh, defining a, uh, a mining structure. Okay, let's go back to a uh, uh, data source view. Okay, let's look at the next, the second tab here. Can you see that? So let's go back there. So we have uh, two tables, customers and movies, but somehow we need to uh, relate them. Otherwise, our computer will not understand how they are related with each other. So the way we're going to do is a uh, basically a uh, relating custom ID over here uh, to a custom ID in a customers. So um, the way we're going to do is uh, actually rather simple. So go to this table, click custom ID, okay, and then drag it to a custom ID in a customers table, okay, and then you will find a arrow uh, pointing from movies uh, to our customers. Uh, technically speaking, uh, this is basically creating a, uh, a foreign key. So if you took a database class, uh, you should remember uh, what that is. So let's take a look. So basically, the defining a foreign key on movies table, uh, referencing uh, customer ID of customers uh, from a customer ID to movies. Okay. All right, so let's save it. So now let's go back, go to our mining structure as usual. Mining structure, new mining structure. Okay. And we're going to use uh, this uh, existing relational database. So next, I will use a uh, associations rules Okay, Microsoft association rules. Next, in the data source view, we're going to use uh, is chapter 11, okay, which has uh, customers and the movies tables. So um, the information about uh, customers, uh, that will be the case table. So each case for uh, each customers. And then for each customer, we have a uh, rental uh, transactions. So movies will be nested. Uh, uh, within a, uh, a customer uh, table. So next, okay. So customer ID uh, will be a key uh, for the customers table, okay. And uh, movies uh, will be the key uh, for the movies table. Um, basically, uh, for each customer, uh, each movie will the uh, will be different, okay. So that will be input. And also, this will be, uh, uh, you're going to also predict what movies uh, may be selected uh, given some other movies. Uh, okay. Does that make sense? So here we have a um, custom ID as a key. And then a movie in a movies table as a uh, key. And also input and predict. So um, let's look at the data types. So long in the text sounds cool. All right. So this one is about uh, how we're going to test uh, and how we're going to learn uh, uh, from the data. So we're going to use 30% uh, of the data for testing, the rest of them as a uh, test uh, cases for learning. So let's give uh, some good dis uh, dis descriptive name of our movies analysis um, mining structure uh, mining model is movies analysis using 
uh, association rules. Okay, let's allow uh, drilling so that we can see the data later. Okay, finish it. All right, cool. Uh, all right, and uh, let's process it. Can you see that? The first icon, it says uh, process the mining structure and all its related models. Looks like it's okay. And close it. All right, so we have a mining structure uh, defined and the process. So let's take a look at uh, what we have here. So mining models, we have a one model uh, analyzing data using association rules. Okay. And let's go to our mining model viewer. This one has a lot of information and a lot of our concepts um, we will discuss uh, during the uh, lecture about con uh, concepts. Okay, so we'll discuss the concept of a minimum support, uh, item size, um, these kind of things uh, during a, uh, a conceptual uh, part of the lecture. Okay, all right. Um, so this one uh, shows all the item sets uh, from the data. So when you look at a, uh, these item sets, you can see the size, basically a cardinality of uh, item sets. Okay. Or you can just change the name. Uh, instead of uh, Star Wars existing, that's kind of annoying. So we can just use attribute name. And then we have uh, movies like Star Wars, Matrix, and so on. So let's take a, a look at the rules uh, derived from these uh, item sets. Okay. Also here we have uh, important concepts about uh, probability and the importance. Again, those things will be discussed in uh, in the conceptual part of the lecture. Okay. So we uh, specify the minimum probability to 41% and the minimum importance uh, to 49%. So based upon those uh, parameters, uh, these rules are, are found. Uh, okay. All right. Um, let's look at the prediction. So idea is a uh, when somebody said, uh, "Hey, I want to watch." Uh, um, uh, I mean, I, I watched. Uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay, and then you may say that person uh, is uh, very likely to want to watch some of the movies. Okay, so uh, your job is uh, what are those movies? Okay, so let's go to. Uh, 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 also, remember that we have two ways of doing it. Uh, you can use a singleton. Okay or we can just use a, uh, a database. So let's use a singleton query first. So go to a singleton. Now you can uh, actually enter data, all right? All right, so, so let's find uh, the movie we just talked about, uh, uh, Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the uh, Lost uh, uh, Ark. H I so Indiana Indiana Jones and uh, Raiders of a Lost Ark. Okay, and that it. All right. So uh, basically, we want to know uh, people who watch the Indiana Jones and the Raiders of a Lost Ark. What else movies they want to uh, they may want to watch. Okay, so. So let's look at what those may be. So let's go to a prediction function. Okay. Let's look at a uh, predict association. Can you see that? Predict association. And then in a column, table columns. So if there's a movies, you may want to type, or you can just grab it and move it and drop it. Okay. All right, so let's run. Then they show uh, three movies they recommend. 
Uh, this is actually based upon the uh, minimum uh, uh, probability of the rules uh, defined in the model viewer. Okay. Um, let's get some more information because uh, we, ne we never know exactly uh, what, uh, why they actually recommending uh, those movies. Okay. So how about this time? Show me five. Uh, okay. And uh, include a uh, statistic so that I can understand uh, why uh, those movies are selected uh, uh, better. Okay, so that would be include uh, st statistics. Okay. All right, and uh, let's run. Okay, so uh, we recommend uh, Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. And uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and Star Wars and so on. But if you look at the probability, um, Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade is 65%. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom is uh, 53%. And Star Wars is uh, 44%. And metric is 14. So, um, depending on uh, your uh, threshold, um, uh, these uh, may or may not be uh, selected. Uh, in our case, uh, if you look at the model viewer, uh, currently a minimum prob probability is uh, set uh, to 41%. Uh, by the way, you can always change it. You know. But anyhow, so depending on the minimum probability set, uh, you may uh, choose the different movies. So uh, these three movies uh, are higher than a uh, uh, minimum uh, probability of 41%. So we recommend uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and the Star Wars uh, for anybody who rented uh, uh, Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the uh, Lost uh, Ark. All right. Sounds like fun. Okay. See you later. Bye.